In section 10.1, we're trying to find out if there's a correlation between two variables. But more importantly, we're trying to figure out if there's a linear correlation between two variables. Let's take a look at this example. It says, use the given data set to complete parts A through C below. Use alpha equal to 0 0.05 as our significance level. The first thing that we want to do is construct a scatter plot. That's going to help us determine if there's a linear correlation or some other type of correlation. So let's go ahead and open up this data into StackCrunch. So we have our data in, input into StackCrunch. Now we're going to go to Stat, Regression, Simple Linear. Now let's go ahead and select our variables. For our X variable, let's just put X. Y variable, let's put Y. And then we can go ahead and just click on Compute. So first it's going to give us the correlation coefficient, which is what we're going to be using to determine if there's a correlation or not, a linear correlation or not. And then also we could use the p-value method, but you have to take a look at the p-value under slope. Okay. Now first thing it asks us for is the scatter plot. If I go down to the box and I click on this right arrow, it shows me what the scatter plot is. And now this red line, this is the best fit line. This is the regression line. So let's go ahead, let's take a look at our answer choices, see which one best fits our choices. Put this on the right side actually. Okay. So if you take a look at our answer choices, you see we have this quadratic correlation. Looks like answer choice D is the correct one. Now it's asking us for the correlation coefficient. Now let's go ahead to StackCrunch. Let's click on that left arrow to go back to that information that was provided to us. Now here is my correlation coefficient right over here. So round to three decimal places. I have 0 0.816. Now in order for us to determine if there's a correlation or not, we have to, do, uh, we have to compare our linear correlation with the critical values. Now, unfortunately, StackCrunch does not give us the critical values. We actually have to use a table to figure out what it is. Okay. So let's go ahead and compare our correlation coefficient to the critical value. Now, to get the core critical value, first we have to take a look at how many values we have, how many pairs of values we have. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we have 11 pairs of values. Now, if I click on this little book, it's going to show me the table of critical values. So we have a significance level of 0 0.05, and our sample size is n. Uh, our sample size is 11, so we have 0 0.602. So now, if our correlation coefficient is bigger than the critical value, that means that there is a correlation. So that is if the absolute value of our correlation uh, coefficient, if it's bigger than or equal to the critical value, it means that we have a correlation. So our correlation coefficient, we have the absolute value of 0 0.816. We want to determine if this is greater than or equal to the critical value. The critical value is given to us in that table. Let's go back to see what it was. So our critical value, n equals 11, and then our significance level is 0 0.05, so we have 0 0.602. So we can tell here, absolute value is 0 0.816, is positive 0 0.186, and that is indeed greater than or equal to 0 0.602. This is a true statement. So that means that we do have a correlation. Okay. If our correlation coefficient was less than the critical value, that means that there is no correlation. So over here we found out that there is a correlation. So it means that there is sufficient evidence to support that there is a correlation. Let's go back to our homework problem. So there is sufficient evidence to support the claim of a linear correlation. 
So remember, the correlation coefficient is to determine if there's a linear correlation. So since our correlation coefficient is bigger than the critical value, that means that there is evidence to support that there is a linear correlation. But now it's asking, identify the, uh, the feature of the data that would be missed if part B was completed without constructing the scatter plot. So when we constructed the scatter plot, we saw that there was a correlation, but it was not linear. You see, it's like the, uh, the dots here, they don't fit like a straight line pattern. There's more like a quadratic correlation. So let's take a look at which one of these answer choices best fits our description. The scatter plot reveals a distinct pattern that is a straight line pattern with a negative slope, but that's not what we have. The scatter plot reveals a distinct pattern that is a straight line pattern with a positive slope. Not true. The scatter plot reveals a distinct pattern that is not a straight line pattern. So we saw it was not a straight line pattern, it was more of like a quadratic pattern. Just put that answer choice in. Okay, there it goes. So just be careful here. So when we go through the correlation coefficient, we saw that there is evidence to support a linear correlation, but when we constructed the scatter plot, it showed that there was not a straight, like there was not a linear correlation. It was more of like a quadratic correlation. 